Hey, what's up, guys and girls? Hey, uh, Amanda, and hi, Rob. You did a really great job on packaging your radio, labeling it, leaving me a note what you what you want me to do, and having another letter in there with your return address. Awesome job. I'm going to show you what this radio is doing, and it's going to go to go back in the box. I'm really slammed. My priority is truck drivers, always has been, but it's new radios first, and then I juggle them the best I can. There's a lot of videos that I don't have on YouTube that I've got on Facebook, years of them on specific things to what to look for, what to do, what not to do, so I'm going to do this one. A lot of you, ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, try to save a nickel on buying used equipment. There are some times that you can buy used equipment if it's advantageous to your hobby, very old equipment. There are people that specialize in that. We specialize in tuning on newer radios and repairs. Anyways, on this video here, which I have one on, on Facebook, but we're gonna put this on YouTube, is you know getting back to buying used equipment from someone. It's cheaper to buy it new here. Already done, boom out the door, right to you. Okay? This one, like it says, you already had the finals replaced. Well, it does need a channel selector. I will take care of that for you. And you can see, no problem. I didn't open it, didn't check many things, just fired it up, this is where we're at. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll try even sideband to see what happens. But when you're buying used, or when you're looking at the striker radios, see the color of that heat sink? Okay. This puppy's been toasted, all right? <laughs> Cranked up, wide open, high SWRs. This doesn't just happen in minutes. This is someone, you know, jack jaw on the radio, or playing music, toys, recordings, or something to get it that hot because that's what it's supposed to look like. Yep, that's what it's supposed to look like. Hot enough to take off the paint. All right, let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, maybe in the, it looks like the antenna socket too, 239. All right. That's powerful, wide open. That's all the way down. All right. But look, again, someone was absolutely clueless. That don't matter. Right there. All right, I hope this was informative. Stay tuned in. Click that button over there. Subscribe. Catch y'all later. It's hard drive fine tune cbshop.com. I'm back on out of here.